You guys know how when you somebody buys a red truck and you see a red truck, that whole thing. This week was one of those weeks where I saw a consistent theme of training partners and friends of mine, Joe Watson, John Knight from Maribel Jiu-Jitsu under Gracie Baja. They had a post this week about basically, you know, people being afraid to lose. And why I bring this up is because I was wrestling there with my wrestling coach. He was talking about kids in middle school or high school, they're just, they're afraid to attempt a shot, or afraid to follow through, right? A lot of it's follow through. Uh, it happens no matter what phase you are in your training in every martial art or anything else. And I wanted to kind of speak on this today because it's, it's a very core importance in So the main reasons that people fear that I'm aware of, one, you're not familiar. It's the unknown of combatives because you've never done it. You're maybe afraid to get hit in the face. You're afraid to get taken down. You're afraid to get submitted. Uh, if it's stick training, you're afraid to get hit with it, obviously. If it's uh, knife training in the proper way, it's just, uh, you're literally afraid of it because it feels like a knife to you. Um, that it's a natural instinct. Or you're afraid to lose. And mostly because you're afraid of your reputation, how it looks upon you. And all that's going to do, all that fear, all it's going to do is 100% hold you back. You'll never reach your potential. You will never overcome it. And you'll never be prepared for it in any competition. And you definitely won't be prepared for it in the street. Uh, if you're in law enforcement, military, or just attacked. That's a 100% guarantee. So you have to be willing to lose to win. You have to be willing to make mistakes to grow. And you have to set aside fear. Because, for example, if you're being choked, there's a fear factor in it. But there's a comfort in being uncomfortable. Uh, another friend of mine, uh, Josh Markentel, um, on Instagram too, he's a YouTube guy, former military guy, uh, really good at tactics. He was a tactical athlete, games winner first year. He said something about this the other day too. But you do have to be learn to be comfortable in uncomfort. Uh, what I can speak to this is we had fight outs in my old counterterrorism agency. And the, at the end of the day, he went through this basically blindfolded situation, completely dark, strobe-like. They sprayed you in the face, making you think it's pepper spray, but it's actually not. They took your attention away after they exerted you physically, and you had to fight out of this. I was telling this story to a couple of guys the other day. It's the same concept. And if you were good enough to get past one person, they would put two on you. If you're good enough to get past two or give two difficulty, they put three. I had a friend of mine who was all American wrestler that they end up from when I heard you get to watch everybody else put four or five. Uh, I think possibly five people on him at one point. The point was you will lose. The point is, is how did you react mentally when you were losing? When did you give up? Did you give up? And the fact that you have to be willing to lose to become better. It's the psychological warfare with yourself. And there's a lot of learning involved when you test yourself to that level or you're tested very often to that level. So have a great weekend and learn to not quit. Learn to not let fear damage your progress.